my channel thank you for coming back and thank you for your support i really appreciate much god bless you but if you're new here hello welcome to my channel please before you leave remember to subscribe and when you subscribe click on that notification bell it is down there so that you can be the first one to be notified whenever i upload a new video you will learn and enjoy every content that i upload in this channel so dear friends in our today's video i am going to be sharing with you the best tips for single mothers that are on online dating apps searching for love especially black africa so if you know you are a single mother you are on online dating apps searching for love searching for the man of your dreams this video will be very perfect for you because the tips that i am going to be sharing will help you very very much to find the right man of your dreams as a single mother and guys because we are still in the mood of women's day <laughs> if you know me you know i love chocolates so today we are going to be taking some chocolates while enjoying the video the chocolates are here with me <laughs> so we are going to be enjoying these ones so let us start with this <laughs> welcome guys <laughs> So back to our today's video. Our today's video is a requested video and I've also been getting a lot of comments, a lot of DMs on my Instagram, single mothers that are on online dating apps searching for love, telling me that they are facing a lot of challenges to find the right man. And this is because maybe some men are scared to start a relationship with them because they are single mothers so these single mothers that are on online dating apps have been very very worried telling me that Bella can I really get a man to love me can I really get a man who will marry me because I have kids or because I have a kid <laughs> what I want to tell you is that yes you can find love on online dating apps even in real life as a single mother you see lots of black women married with their kids that they had from their past relationships also guys i have lots of friends that got married with their kids that they had from their past relationships so you shouldn't worry at all that you want to be able to find love on online dating apps you will find love on online dating apps even if men have been playing games on you even if you think that men are not approaching you that man that god created for you he will approach you very very soon you don't have to give up keep searching that is why i'm always here encouraging you to keep searching because it is possible it is not impossible guys trust in yourselves <laughs> don't let the challenges bring you down don't let the challenges make you give up and think that i am a single mother men don't want me well, that is why men have been playing games on me men have been ghosting me <laughs> i want to tell you even single ladies that don't have kids <laughs> have been facing the same <laughs> guys online dating is hard it is very very hard it is very very hard but eventually you will find that right man for you if men have been telling you i cannot date you because you have kids don't worry because a man who says that is not for you at all <laughs> so it shouldn't bother you being a single mother is not easy it's very difficult I don't know the toughest word I can use to describe being a single mother but you just know that I know and I understand because I happened to live with someone very very close to me that is a single mother i know what she was going through i also have friends that are single mothers <laughs> so i know the whole experience of being a single mother and that is why if you are a single mother you are on online dating apps you are searching for love you really need to be very very careful so that you cannot make your life more stressful because being a single mother is stressful enough so there is no need for you to go and search for a man that will make your relationship that will make your life 
very very stressful that is why your sister is here to give you the best best tips for you so that you can find that right man on online dating apps what are those qualities that you need to look into when you are searching for the right man a man to marry you a man that will become your husband in the future so without wasting much of your time let us jump into our video right now Tip number one, if you are a single mother, you are on online dating apps searching for that right man, a man that you call your husband in the future, please be open to this man, tell him that you have a kid or you have kids. Because some ladies will wait until they meet this man in person to tell them that I have kids. Then they go ahead, fall in love with this man, attach themselves emotionally, when they meet the guy and tell him that I have kids, then things go wrong because guys, not all white men, not all men that want kids, especially white men, not all of them plan to have kids in their lives. <laughs> kids of their own. <laughs> Not to talk about your kid, kids of their own, they don't want them. So if you keep quiet until you meet this man, you have fallen in love already with this guy, you have attached yourself emotionally, you tell this man that I have kids later. When it's too late, then the man tells you, no, I don't want kids, I don't plan to have kids, that wasn't my plan. And then the man decides to end the relationship, it's going to hurt you very, very much so stop lying to yourself stop hiding your kid if you are on online dating apps you are a single mother be open tell this man right from the beginning of your relationship that i have kids i have a kid <laughs> and talk about even having kids in the future if he plans to have kids so that you can know what kind of the man you are going to marry what kind of a man you are going to be in a relationship with it's very very important guys tip number two if you are a single mother you're on online dating apps searching for the right man a man that will marry you please make sure that you date a man or you choose a man that is mentally mature it's so so important don't go into a relationship after you have seen that the guy is not mentally mature the guy is immature and you will immediately see that even in his charts yes the problem is guys we always ignore and get carried away by these beautiful words men tell us on online dating apps <laughs> yes so don't be carried away by how this man is telling you sweet words promising you to take you to paris promising you to take you to the bahamas <laughs> don't get carried away by that see how this man is mentally mature is he able to face the challenges can he sit down with you and solve problems because being a stepdad is a great responsibility that only a mature man a man with a mature mind can take don't be in a relationship with a man that is a mama's boy that is not mature enough to be a stepdad that is not mature enough to be a husband to a woman who is a single mother yes otherwise you are going to be babysitting two kids <laughs> your kid and the husband yes so please please make sure that you are very careful very careful when it comes to how this man is mentally mature we don't want men who run away from problems we don't want men who are mama's boy we want men with a mature mind men who can take care of their responsibilities tip number three if you are a single mother you're on online dating apps searching for that right man that will marry you i advise you to stay away from toxic narcissist manipulative type of a man because this is not only about you it's about you and your kid you being in a relationship with a toxic manipulative 
narcissist man means that you are going to destroy the life of your kid right now and even the future life of your kid why am i saying that it's because it's so sad guys that kids that grew up in toxic families maybe the mother was in a toxic relationship with the father they don't overgrow that and most of the times guys they really become bad people when they grow up because they grow with that i have seen most movies about serial killers if you listen to the story you will hear that that serial killer grew up in a toxic family yes guys so that is how dangerous it can go even if that kid doesn't become a serial killer when she grows or when he grows but will grow with this trauma that is not good at all it's not healthy so please to protect yourself to protect your kid or your kids don't start a relationship don't be in a relationship with a man that is toxic that is manipulative that is a narcissist yes guys and you say bella it's on online dating apps how will i know you will know that even the way they chat with you you are going to know just be careful observe that because it's so important yes a single lady that is not a single mother can also observe this but you as a single mother you really need to be very very careful when it comes to that because it's about you and your kid please 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 i have lots of examples that i have been giving you about a toxic man if you remember that story that i told you a guy was telling a lady on a chat that you need to tell me what you put on before you go out every day i am going to be commanding this relationship you don't have to talk i'll be the one to talk you know such kind of talking don't accept such kind of a man and think that he will change not at all please please be very careful when it comes to the red flags be very very careful if you are a single mother be extra careful tip number four if you are a single mother you're on online dating apps searching for that right man you need to make sure that you enter into a relationship with a man that is financially stable please don't get me wrong i'm not saying that you get into a relationship with a rich man not at all but the man that you're chatting to the man that you'll be in a relationship with should be financially stable why am i saying this i am imagining that you are an african lady a single mother and you are searching for a white man on online dating apps and if things go well it means that you are going to relocate to this man's country guys life in europe is not easy and you coming with a kid it's not cheap <laughs> it needs some money <laughs> so if you start chatting with a guy and you see that the guy is not financially stable cannot afford to stay in his own apartment <laughs> pay rent then why get into a relationship with him how is he going to take care of you and your kid because when you first get here let's say in europe or in america you are not going to start working immediately not at all so that period that you won't be working you'll be depending on this man and that is why i'm telling you he should be financially stable so you're not wasting your time on online dating apps chat with every man that comes your way <laughs> while chatting please try to observe and see if the man you're chatting to is capable of taking care of you and your kid when you relocate it's very very important because on online dating apps have got lots of men they are serious but they are very serious but they don't have jobs <laughs> so how are they going to take care of you 
who have a baby it's not going to happen so don't waste your time on such kind of men a man doesn't have a job a man cannot even rent his own apartment <laughs> don't waste your time on him because it will only be chats it will remain there forever <laughs> yes so save your time chat with men whom you see that they are financially stable and a question comes bella how will i know that a man is financially stable you will know guys i told you if a lady wants to know something from a man and this man is really interested in you you are going to get that information as long as you ask questions in a very respectful ways you will find out guys <laughs> so guys about you as a single mother being in a relationship with a man that is financially stable reminds me of my girlfriend so when i was researching about this video i tried to talk to her and listen to her own opinion so she was like then she was like bella as a single mother you need a man that is financially stable provided that single mothers goes through a lot of challenges goes through a lot of problems so you find that you have been suffering so much so you choosing a man that will make you suffer more there is no need for that <laughs> there is no need for that should you add on problems she also told me that before she met her husband her husband is a white guy <laughs> and she's a black woman she was telling me that before i met my husband i had a good job a good paying job <laughs> so there was no way i was going to choose a man that is not financially stable not at all because i wanted a man that will add on to what i don't have i hope you get her point guys <laughs> Tip number five, if you are a single mother, you're on online dating apps, searching for that right man for marriage, let it be a white man or any man of any color, be in a relationship, choose a man or chat with a man who is ready to accept you and your kid. If a man tells you, no, I want only you, not your kid, that man is not for you. Because your kid or your kids are part of you. If he loves you, he should accept you and the kid. So don't be lied by his words, because some men will tell you, I will marry you, you will be able to take care of your kid while the kid is in Africa, but I don't want to live with that kid. I don't want to recognize that kid don't accept that because if you accept to be in that trap and then this man will stop you from seeing this kid will stop you from taking care of this kid and as a mother i cannot imagine staying away from my kid so please date chat with a man that is ready to accept you and your kid recognize that kid or those kids as the stepdad yes i'm not saying that he will be the father not at all <laughs> the biological father will remain the biological father but if this man is going to marry you it means that he should accept you and your kids recognize those kids love them the way he loves you yes my dear beautiful ladies <laughs> yes guys i know it is a bit challenging for you to know if a guy has accepted your kids or your kid while you are still chatting but how are you going to observe that not only from his words don't listen only to the words because you might tell the guy that i have kids or i have a kid and he tells you there is no problem i will accept that kid as my own and then it ends there no you should see the actions of this man when he talks to you does that guy try to ask how are your kids or talk about those kids or from the day you told him you have kids he has never asked again about your kids or about your kid because that is one of the signs that can tell you that a guy does not care about your kids but only words <laughs> he accepted only accepted by just telling you but actions nothing like that he does not even think of those kids so make sure a guy accepts your kids guys and observe 
his actions towards those kids? Do they exist in his life or he does not include them while he talks to you, while he makes, while he makes plans for your future? It's so important, guys. Tip number six, if you are a single mother, you are on online dating apps, searching for that right man to call your beloved husband in the future, please, please chat with a guy that is ready to settle down, not a guy that is still running around. <laughs> Not at all. You need to choose a man. You need to choose with a guy that is a family man. Yes, guys. Why am I saying this? It's because you guys, if things goes well and maybe you start living together or he marries you, you are going to go straight to parenting. <laughs> There won't be that moment of you being together, you know, when you get married and you don't have kids. <laughs> it's the two of you, you know, that moment won't happen. You'll go straight to parenting because you have kids or you have a kid. So that man should be a man who really, really loves family. He's a family man. He is a man that is ready to settle. He is a man that is ready to take sacrifices <laughs> yes guys parenting is full of challenges guys sometimes you will have to forget about going to a dinner date and stay at home with a kid maybe the kid has got fever <laughs> so you will have to stay at home and take care of this kid or maybe the kid wants to go to the park so you are going to forget everything about the two of you that maybe you plan to do that weekend and take that kid to the park together. <laughs> so that is why I'm telling you guys, if you go into a relationship with a man that is not ready to settle, a man that is not ready to start parenting immediately, it's going to be a very big challenge, guys. And you might find yourself in that situation of a single mother so what have you done <laughs> by getting married or by being in a relationship with a man there is no need a man that can stand as a father as a partner a man that will defend you from problems or from maybe his family because a challenge might happen that a family doesn't like you that much because you have kids already <laughs> so you need a man that is really really ready with you as a mother or as a lady that have kids or a kid this reminds me story time <laughs> so guys i had this friend of mine she had kids in her past relationships and it did not go well so she started another relationship with another guy so they were crazily in love with each other everything was going very very well only one time this guy was telling a girl that if i introduce you to my mother tell her that you have a degree because everyone in my family is well educated <laughs> so to fit in you will have to pretend that you have a degree <laughs> and my friend came to me told me about it she was really worried and said that i think this guy's family will be trouble for me and i haven't told the guy that i am a single mother i have kids <laughs> and this friend of mine was really beautiful you couldn't tell at all that she has got kids <laughs> so she told me what i'm going to do i'm going to talk to this guy and pretend that I have a friend that have got two kids and she is in a relationship with a guy and she has not told the guy that she has got kids. What do you think about that? Should this lady tell the guy that I have kids or what do you think? What is your own opinion? So she went ahead and told the guy, then guess what the guy said, guys? <laughs> I don't know why this friend of yours with two kids is looking for in life because she has got her two kids why not take care of her kids why look for a relationship there is no need for that there is no need for that it is a wastage of time and you see me here i will never ever be in a relationship with a woman with kids it doesn't make sense to me <laughs> 
she should love her kids and that's all <laughs> so after my friend heard that immediately she ended their relationship because she realized that that man is not for her so you should be in a relationship with a man that is ready guys to settle down a guy that is ready to accept you and your kids yes my dear beautiful ladies tip number seven if you are a single mother you're on online dating apps searching for that right man for a relationship for marriage please be in a relationship chat that has got great love a man that will be able to share his love with your kid yes not a selfish man a man who will be able to stand baby daddy's drama <laughs> all for love guys because that is great love but if you go ahead and start a relationship or chat with a guy that you see or is telling you right from the beginning of your relationship that he cannot share you with your kid he cannot stand the baby daddy's drama then you know that that man is not for you just leave that man alone and keep searching and keep searching you will find that man that has got great love a man that will love you and your kid yes finish our chocolate <laughs> So to wrap up this video, if you are a single mother, you are on online dating apps, searching for love, searching for marriage, please don't give up, keep searching, God will bring that right man for you, just special for you. Yes, my dear beautiful ladies, don't feel sad, don't feel down, don't feel like you being a single mother is stopping you from finding a man of your dreams not at all guys actually it is a very big advantage because if you've watched my last video i was telling you about being lonely when you are single but if you're a single mother you have your kid to take care of you have your kid to give the whole attention when you are down and you look at your kid you start smiling you feel hope you feel happy so it's a very big advantage embrace that positive side of it and continue to be the great mother to your kid or to your kids god will continue blessing you he will bring that right man for you thank you so much guys for watching this video till now i really appreciate much be blessed if you have liked this video please give it a thumbs up share it with your friends family everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something watch my other videos too they are super good you are going to learn a lot of things from those videos comment below down there what you think about this video don't forget to subscribe please join the family and thank you for subscribing <laughs> until next time i love you so much once again you are always here in my heart ciao ciao Mwah.